Okay. Uh, you've heard that old saying, uh, baby's got back. Speaking of someone that has a really big butt, uh, Fujifilm got some serious glass. Now, this would sit like this, and this would be over top of the sensor. Uh, you know, I've got a drawer full of sensors over here, by the way. I've taken apart plenty of Sony cameras. Yes, indeed, Sony. Tons of Nikon and uh, Canon cameras. And I can honestly say I've never seen so much glass in my entire life. And this is a 16 megapixel uh, Fujifilm sensor, which obviously is the X-Trans sensor made by Sony. Now, let's uh, take a look at what we got here. Now we have a nice piece of uh, incredibly good AR-coated cover glass over the frame. Usually this is actually glued, this piece of cover glass is glued on like the Nikon and the Canon and the Sony sensors. Um, this is a total separate framework, so we have this piece of glass here. Now this is the uh, UV and, uh, excuse me, the um, infrared pass filter, I said UV. We have a triple layer, if I can actually focus in here. I don't know if you can actually see the third layer or not. I'm going to have to turn it this way and you can see it. It's actually the nicest one I've ever seen too. Let me see if I could zoom in. There we go. You can see the three layers right there. So one, two, three, four, five. So we have five layers of actual glass. This is also the first sensor. Let's see if I can zoom in. You might not be able to see it. This is the first sensor. You can see right over there on the top. Fujifilm. Fuji doesn't make sensors, I know. This is the first uh, true... Uh, actual cover glass on the sensor that I've seen that is used polished and bezeled glass. This is actually the nicest. Like on uh, Nikon and Canon and Sony, not that it's important at all, you'll actually cut your finger, and I have a couple times. Uh, this is the first um, nicest and first polished and bezeled glass that has sat directly over the sensor. This is also another important thing. People talk about, oh my God, I'm afraid of cleaning my sensor. Well, when it comes to, <laughs> when it comes to cleaning your Fuji sensor, the only thing you're gonna be cleaning is this. You're not even gonna be cleaning the second, third, and fourth layer, and you're not gonna be touching uh, the fifth layer right here. Let me repeat that. Okay, we have one layer of glass here. Right underneath that, we have a second, a third, and, and these are cemented, of course. Second, a third, and let me focus. Focus, focus, darn it. Whatever. Focus, focus, there we go. Focus. Anyway, second, third, and fourth layer there. And a fifth layer there. So you are never getting even close. It's like worried about the touching someone on the inside of a building. It's like I'm, I'm washing the outside of the window. Of course, then there's three more, uh, four more layers of glass before you actually touch the person on the inside. So, you know, those people that are worried about that, absolutely no concern. So there we go. Um, there was a piece of copper tape back here. It was used as a heat sink, which was kind of ingenious, I thought. It's just a piece of copper tape that went to the back of the sensors, the EMF and heat sink that went from here to the actual magnesium chassis, which is right here. And there's the shutter blades. There's the first curtain, first curtain lever slot and second curtain lever slot, and I'll show you that in another video. The first curtain, most people think, ah! There's two curtains? Yeah, there's two sets of curtains. This is a Teflon-coated uh, Kevlar, by the way. Teflon-coated Kevlar. Yep. There we go with that. So you learned something new today, boys and girls. Ni I'm a Fujifilm. I almost said Nikon. Fujifilm has got more glass over top of the sensor than any other camera I've ever seen, and I've seen them all. Let me repeat that. I've seen them all. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, drop me a buck or two. Tell me to jump off a cliff. Whatever makes you happy.